that I ended up shooting selfies at one point because I couldn't get far enough away from the manatee to get them into the whole frame. Why do we love Crystal River and the Florida Springs? The biggest reason is the water is crystal clear. There's some of the clearest water in the world. So there's a lot of light and you can get a lot into your images. And it's a warm 72 degrees. So we wear a full wetsuit, but it's not like you're ice diving in February. The manatee come into Crystal River every winter because the Gulf of Mexico will become too cold. Since the water temperature is 72, uh, that's actually warm for them in the winter. So they congregate in Crystal River, specifically at other Florida Springs. In 1976, we had a guide tell us that there were about 400 manatee in the river that year. And I remember him saying that there's no way your children or your grandchildren will be able to have this experience because they were that endangered. However, recently on a trip with Birds Diving Services in uh, Crystal River, Florida, they estimated that there were 7,000 manatee in the river. I think our guide from 1976 would have been thrilled uh, to know this. The conditions that you're looking for are the coldest days of the year and the coldest time of the day. If it gets really warm, the manatee will spread out on the river and they can be difficult to find. The official manatee season is from around November 15th to March 15th, but more important than the actual date is the air temperatures. The colder it is that you go, uh, the more manatees you'll see and they will be congregated into smaller areas so they'll be easier to find. I like to go out at sunrise and I like to do it with a small boat and a guide. Manatees are pretty big animals, so I like to use a super wide lens and specifically I would like a fisheye because I know that I can focus right up to the dome port when I'm using a fisheye lens. I also like to shoot them natural light. We're dealing with very clear water here and we're snorkeling at the surface. Without a flash, you don't have to worry about creating backscatter from anything that's uh, floating or any debris that's in the water, especially if they're feeding or anything. So natural light with a fisheye lens would be my go-to setup for manatee. The manatee are gonna move very slowly. So you can use just about any shutter speed that you want. What I try to do is set my ISO based on the light. So probably around 800 or so, since it's early in the morning typically, a shutter speed of a 60th of a second will easily stop their movement. So I usually shoot about 125th or 160th of a second. That way I don't have to worry about any camera shake or motion blur. As for apertures, whenever I'm shooting a dome port with a wide lens, I like a stop down lens. I want the depth of field. So I'm gonna be trying using apertures of F8, F11, F16, or even smaller if there's enough sun out. In a situation like this, it's really nice to have a 45 degree viewfinder because it allows you to look down into the camera, see your subject, without having to crank your neck and get a crick in your neck from uh, trying to bend your head up to see the manatee that's in front of you. It's very important to note that the manatee must drive this interaction. It is illegal to chase them, follow them, dive down to them, touch them, but this isn't the problem you may think it is. The manatee are very used to snorkelers and because of a lot of work by the park service and volunteer over the decades, the manatees know you. And when you ease into the water, it's not a common for them to come to you. If they don't, do nothing, just wait. Hold very still, eventually they'll come right up to you. One of the first times I went down uh, to shoot the manatees with a camera, we were out before the sun rose. It was dark out. So we were being very, very careful. And I remember just observing them from a distance, wanting to shoot a scene of multiple manatees in it. Well, as soon as we hit the water, a mother and a calf came up to us and basically started hugging us, rubbing up against us. It was such a distraction that I ended up shooting selfies at one point because I couldn't get far enough away from the manatee to get them into the whole frame. 